What's up you guys? Today's video we are customizing shoes Houston Astros special edition. Oh my god! Shout out to the Astros for winning the World Series match. Shout out to them. With all that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay, you guys, so before we get to customizing, we got to take the shoestrings out of the shoes. Got to make sure we get them out of there because we're going to be using the whole shoe to do the Houston Astros special edition shoe. Let's get it. Okay, the next step we're going to be using is acetone. Acetone is going to allow us to take the factory finish off the shoes so we're able to paint the whole shoe without any cracks or anything like that. These are special edition now. We can't, we can't really mess these up, all right? Okay, so some of the colors I'm working with is Angelus Orange, and then we got an Angelus Yellow. So we got a DRT Yellow. These, that's a special edition, all right? So the reason why I'm using both of these is because I need to mix them up to get that nice, like try to match it with the right orange, if that makes sense, okay? So that's why I got this little container right here. I'm putting a little bit of orange, then I'm putting a little bit of yellow, and I mix it up. I usually mix up the colors off camera, but I just wanted to show you that. All right, so now we bought the paint. So now I'm doing very light coats. I done speed it up a little bit because I know y'all don't want to see me go like minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes into painting, okay? So we're going to start off just by this front toe part. I'm going to paint this orange and we're going to do several coats, all right? So don't like really pay close attention to why like it looks like faded like that because you have to do several coats when you're painting a shoe. So that's what I'm doing right here. Okay, you guys, I got my heat gun. Well, my blow dryer, my heat gun actually messed up. Then I try to use my mom's blow dryer and that messed up too. All right, so the first coat was done. Now we're going back over with the second coat. And now as you see, it's like filling in a whole lot better. So that's the thing. And I can't believe I missed that one little, there you go. I can't, I was gonna say, I can't believe I missed that one little part earlier. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Basically doing another coat, second coat of this orange. I'm probably gonna do about three just because I want this orange filled in and look very crisp. Okay, the next color is a blue. Now this navy blue, well I try to actually match up the blues, right? So as you see, this is a navy blue, but I wanted like a more like, basically a more vibrant blue, like a more like a lighter blue. You know what I'm saying? Cause we gotta do it right. The Astros won, they ain't won since 2017. We gotta do this right, all right? So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm basically just painting this panel blue, like a, like a navy blue, but I actually went in and actually changed the blue too. And then I painted over as you're gonna see. Um, I actually did like another type of blue, but right now, basically I'm doing, make sure I'm covering all I can cover with my smaller brush. I switch brushes throughout the video just because like some parts require a bigger brush, some parts require a smaller brush. And it, this, the reason why I change the color, because this blue is looking really, really dark. It's not that dark on the jerseys. It's, it's, it's a little lighter. Okay. So I had to go back in and basically I had to mix up a couple different blues, but you can't see it right now, but we're going to get to the part and I'm going to show you. So it, it just, it's just too, it's too dark. It's way too dark. So that's what I actually did right here, but you really can't see it on camera like that. But basically right there. Okay, cool. That's the blue I was looking for right there. <laughs> it's this one right here. Cause I mean, it matches the jerseys better. It's like, it, it's a navy blue, but it's not. It's like more of like a, it's like a lighter blue. Oh, I just want to say shout out to the Astros again. You know what I'm saying? For winning championship. You know what? I always wanted to low key move to Houston right i look he did and i'm I, i'm actually be talking to my manager about moving now for real because houston's lit i heard it was lit but besides the point houston astros i've been following baseball all this year low-key because you know i've been betting on the side but, <laughs> but 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 hear me out hear me out baseball is pretty cool baseball is pretty cool okay i don't have a favorite team i'll have to find a favorite team i'm, I'm trying to look for a team that's going to you know that's going to allow me to come in and be a fan so y'all make sure to drop some comments down below what team I, I can't just hop on a Houston Houston Astros bandwagon because they just won. You know, I can't do that. Maybe, maybe next year, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. So now I'm painting this panel blue. Uh, I wanted to kind of make it more like blue than orange, but still add that orange later on. So that's basically what I'm doing right here at this part. It's just painting this part blue. Got to do several coats. That's the thing, you guys. It doesn't matter what color you do. You have to do several, several coats. As I was painting the shoe, I was trying to think of what stencil work would I, was I going to do? Because we got to do a special edition. Like, these got to be special edition shoes, right? So, this is coming out pretty good. I got my blow dryer. Basically, just drying it. The reason why I use a blow dryer is to help speed up the drying process. If you do not use a blow dryer, trust me, you're going to be waiting 30 minutes or hour for each coat. And we don't want to do that. We want to speed this thing on up.
Okay, you guys, so let me tell you, I messed up right here. All right, I did, I messed up. I don't know how the blue got on my hands and then it got on the inside of the sock liner. But basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just paint within it. I was gonna do that anyway, but I'm just showing y'all how you can really like fix up your mistakes. Cause I can't believe I put the blue on my fingers and it was in there, all right? Okay, so I'm actually gonna paint this part orange before I do the sock liner, just because. Just because if I do decide to mess up, or if I do, I, not what I said decide, if I mistakenly mess up, then I can just kind of co cover it over with blue. So that's why I went with this orange in the back. So we need we need a little bit more orange, you know what I'm saying? We need a little bit more orange. Of course, the stencils, it's gonna, it's gonna really make this thing come all the way together. But I had to just go ahead and do the back tab orange. Okay, I'm doing several coats with this as well. I'm doing like two to three coats, well, three coats in general. And as you see, like when I'm painting, I'm really changing out like the angles with the brushes, okay? Like you have to like do the smaller ones for like small things and you gotta do the big ones for other things. So that's basically what I did. Okay, so now we're about to paint the sock liner. This is GAT 900 and this is GAT 900 and paint mix. So basically what you have to do is you have to like take that fabric medium and you have to put that you have to mix it within your paint. You can use Angelus Too Soft as well. It's just, this is what I had, so I just mixed it together. And basically, the reason why you wanna mix them together is because the sock liner is usually soft. If you just paint it with acrylic, it's gonna be all rugged and hard. You don't want that. You want it to stay the same. You want it to feel the same, right? You wanna do that. So that's what I'm doing, is basically painting this sock liner navy blue, going within there and doing the things I need to do. Okay, now it's time for the stencil part. And I got the city stencil, right? So this is what I'm thinking. I'm putting the city down below, right, with navy blue. And then I'm gonna add some more stencils over top of it. But I think this is the first stencil I'm gonna use. And this is gonna be really, really cool just to have putting like the city, like city of Houston on the shoe. That That's basically what I was going for. So when you're airbrushing, as you can see, you have to do like multiple coats. You have to do very light coats. So as you will see that I am airbrushing, then I'm drying, airbrushing, then I'm drying right so that's all i'm doing i'm painting this in navy blue and then i thought about putting the astros name logo at the very like on the front on the toe part i think that's gonna be cool too i put that in navy blue as well just because like the um the mostly of the toe is orange so i just wanted to give it that blue orange and then blue if you know what I mean. So I have to do this multiple coats too and I have to dry it off. Say about two coats should do it. Okay, next I'm doing the star. I, I wanna do the star first and then do the H over top, but I'm doing the star and also blue too as well. And the reason I'm doing it in blue because if I did it in orange, then like, I don't know. Like I could have done it in orange. Probably what I should have done was doing orange, but at the same time, I did it in blue just because I want to make the um, the H orange to make it really stand out and make it really pop. Okay, you guys, now we got the H laid down. Now I'm about to spray this orange, well, airbrush this orange. And I'm gonna do this multiple, multiple different coats, especially because the orange has to go over the navy blue. Man, I think this is gonna look really, really sick. I took the H off. Wow, that look clean. That look really clean. So now I'm gonna do some final detail work. I'm gonna make sure this is orange down here at the midsole and just, um, just color this in orange because I, I don't want it plain anymore. But I think it's just gonna come all together if it's, if it's orange, you know what I'm saying, at the bottom. Okay, after that, then we're gonna apply some finisher. The satin finish makes it really, I think it's gonna make it really pop. So that's what I'm doing, spraying a couple coats on with that. And then you guys, we are all done with this custom. Like this custom 
It really is not like it really came together. Shout out to the Houston Astros. So you guys, there we have it. Houston Astros custom. Hey, shout out to the Houston Astros for winning the World Series. Man, they haven't won in a couple years. That's what I heard. So with all that being said, hopefully I enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We are on the road to 500,000. We are at 450, so I know we can get there very, very soon. Okay, you guys, with all that being said, it's your boy Xavier Kicks. I'm gonna catch y'all next one. Peace.